welcome to Let's Explore Vi. I'm your host. Wait, there's gonna be a there's Sharpton. gonna be an there's gonna be an intro that does this. Why are we doing this? Is it is okay? Is it really gonna be an intro and then another intro after this? <laughs> After the intro, there's going to be another lower quality version of the intro. Um, yeah, give me one second. That's, um, oh, God. Yep. Why? <laughs> We're going to do this. Uh, yep. Is that how the song goes? Is yeah. that how the song really that, goes? That was it. You didn't see it? I just showed it to you. All right. All right, great. we're doing today. We're explorifying Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Yay! Stock sound effect. Yay! Yeah. Is that in there? I don't Is have that it. Gonna... It's not on the budget. Oh, okay, that's fine. All right. Um, okay. We're just gonna go to random articles and we're gonna look at them. That's I, that's Explorify. I had an extra idea. What if we oh. used random.org to figure out how many times I should click random article? I feel like that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Okay, let's get going. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Athletics at the 2004 Summer Paralympics. Oh, God. Oh, yep. next, next, <laughs> next. No no jokes here, next. We're not. What? No jokes to be made We're not here, exploring. next. Look, next. China got gold, Germany That's got great. silver, and Croatia okay. got bronze. I'm very proud of all of them for overcoming everything. Okay, let's next. <laughs> what do you. Let's see where America got. America Come didn't on. get any any of the top places, which is too bad. That's because no, I can't make jokes. Random okay, article. go. All right. Acacia denticulosa. That's very nice. I wonder why it's got denticulosa in its name. It's sand pepper wattle. A spirit My of Acacia. favorite thing about it is that it looks like Cheetos grow on trees. It does. The big oh puffy God. ones, which are the better ones, by the way. Yeah. Everyone likes the crunchy Cheetos, and I'm like, you're wrong. The puffy ones are good. The puffy ones are pretty good, yeah. I, the I definitely ones, prefer the puffy ones. Puffy ones, I mean, you know, uh, you get more Rackos. teeth for your week. All right, next. I don't <laughs> care. Yeah. <laughs> Flight International, or simply Flight, um, is a weekly magazine focused on aerospace. Published. <laughs> That's good. Circulation, 43,000, June 2007. Is that the year? Year founded 1909. Oh man. Yeah. What it would be really funny if it was just like year founded like 1808. Can't and we, it was just it was like year like founded 1808 and it was like 20 no 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 <laughs> this doesn't work. Go back. Okay. I'm, Go back. I'm get back. get out of here. Uh, get out of here. There. Okay. Random article. Um, European anyway. Cloud Partnership. ECP okay. is an advisor group set by the European Commission of the... I was going to make a joke strategy. a second ago, and then you just... No, it's gone. Fine, look, we'll go back. I have the back button. Back okay. button. There. Um. All right. Ah! What if... Uh, uh, what, if what if... Oh, God, I'm losing it. Oh, I choked. Oh, God, just move on. Okay. I don't... Show and prove. Show and prove is a single one... And Poss cut from the Big Daddy Kane album, Daddy's Home. The song is uh, produced by Mark Wahlberg and yeah. Will Ferrell. Yeah. And it features guest verses from Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Lover. <laughs> Scooby -Doo. Sauce Money, Shy Haim, Dirt, Shy Old Dirty Sh Bastard. Oh, ODB. Gotta love it. Yeah. Do they have and a them? then unknown Jay Z. That's really interesting. That is. Look at him. He's interested. <laughs> <laughs> he's very he's just staring. <laughs> Look at how interested he is. He's he's just like staring at you after you said how interesting. He's just like, like <laughs> wow. Um, um music's John Bush Wow, that's called the that's song Irresistible. Wow. And praised Jay wow. Z's fast paced raps. Wow, what a different time it was, nineteen ninety three. Yeah, uh, out the, the back stock when market. the first, God, the first it was right when they published the the first uh, first copy of um, 
uh, Flight International. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Random article. Ram Singh Kuka, also known <laughs> okay. as Satguru Ram Singh. That's right. Is credited as being the first Indian to use non-cooperation and boycott of British merchandise and services as a political weapon. So he's like hipster Gandhi. Yes. In he's like Gandhi before Gandhi was cool. Yeah, so they didn't decide to commemorate him until 2016, though. Mm. Wait, is he still alive? Or do they just not know when he died? Uh, 1816, I think. <laughs> I don't not, know. I, you don't think I he's don't 202 think he's, years old? I don't think he's kicking. Nah. But th- um, they don't know when he died. Could, yeah, I suppose you're so, right. So he could still be alive. And good there's that math. there's that legend of um there's that one legend of that dude who's like an immortal guy who's like still kicking it in in India and people see him every every so often and he's got leprosy What? Random article. <laughs> <laughs> Charles Carew. Charles Robert Sid Sidenham Carew. Oh MP. my god. What a name. Uh, he's a justice of the peace. Aren't we all? Was a British conservative politician. Carew was son of Reverend Robert Baker Carew, rector Bickley Devon. Uh, and article. Next, yeah. <laughs> St. Nicholas Orthodox Church. Uh, church in Springdale, Arkansas. Arkansas. Um, Why no was... Arkansas? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good line. America Explain. Um... Uh, but Marlon, Marlon Blackwell, he's, Marlon he looks Bundo. interested. He does look interested. <laughs> <laughs> it includes oh, a skylight tower. Oh, that's pretty sick, actually. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, I gotta like for that. Just a, a church, yeah. November um, feature. Okay. God, it won some awards, architecture awards. Wow, yeah. what, what do you know? This is this is the most awesome they had a, article. If only they had a picture of it. Oh, that uh, would be helpful. But no, Maybe but it's no, one of these. Yeah, no, I think it looks like that bottom one. Anyway, random article. Solar Saros 135. Saros cycle. What in the hell? Excuse Wait, go back up. What? Let's let's give this another shot. Solar Saros 135. It's a so, it's a solar cycle, and then this is just all the information about it. Okay, so the Saros is a period of approximately. You said, super... what the bucket? What? What the bucket? <laughs> Did you just say, what the bucket? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Repeating every 18 years, 11 days, containing 71 events. What? What the bucket? Dude, it goes to 2593. They are really, they are really, like, going for it then. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a lot. Next. Wow. Whoa. Oh. Okay, so this is another plant, but it's like another plant one. I don't even know how to pronounce oh, it. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 like that's a lot. I'm gonna ask my friend John how to pronounce it. Come on, John, you've never let me down before. He's letting you down. Come on. He's letting you down. Come on, John. Glades Boinsis. What? I saw a Glades Boinsis. That's well. That's how you say that. All right. You've been let down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love John. It's okay. Uh, Random article. Random article. Randolph, New Hampshire. Hey, we could visit. I yeah. Sure. It's heavily forested town in Coos County, New Hampshire, U.S., extending from northern slopes of White Mountains of the Presidential Range to the south. To the Crescent Range in Berlin, to the north. Blah 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 blah. There were three hundred thirty-nine you... people in two thousand. One hundred forty-six households and one hundred and four families. It's only one hundred and sixty-seven miles away from me. That's only a four-hour and twenty-seven-minute drive. Dude, you just, dude, you just dox yourself. How do you? Feel? I just, yeah, I just doxed a radius around Randolph, New Hampshire. You just so doxed yourself. People dude. know I live exactly that in, like, exactly on that circle. Yeah, they're gonna so find you. All they would have to do is travel. Um, and I can't stress this enough. 
they will have to search. All right, that was the end of that sentence. No, wait. Let me get. Let me get it. Let me get it. <laughs> they will have to travel a one thousand and forty-eight mile circle, approximately. Because I, I calculated like the radius, so that's like the mile, like radius no, I, yeah, and yeah. diameter. And I know. Times, you know. <laughs> well, enough of that yeah. nonsense. There's something yeah, interesting here, actually. There are two What's artificial going on? lakes in Randolph. Wow. One or is pond. called Durand Lake and is present year round, while the other is known as Ravine House Pool. The latter exists only in summer when it is created by damming up a mountain stream. The Ravine House Pool was previously used by Ravine House, a defunct hotel. For swimming, there is a, still a small sandy beach at the pool, a dressing house, a water fountain, a raft, and a lifeguard station. There is also a playground area with a swing set, slide, and and small, small climbing pool. structure nearby. <laughs> Get destroyed. Next article. <laughs> okay. Great. Thanks. Um, random article. Wow. Daniel Barwolf. You want to handle entire- this one? Yeah. Daniel Barwolf is a retired German footballer who played as a stinker. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I, I, I messed it up. Can we move on, please? Wait, you didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you think he's doing now? Dead? It's He was born in 73. I think he's dead. He's only... Like no, I think 40 he's 45 something. years old. Exactly. Okay, whatever. Next. Oh my god. Okay. Sant Ambrogio Valsoda. Valsoda. It's a Roman Catholic church located in the neighborhood of Albino Superstore. <laughs> <laughs> in the territory of the commune Valsoda, <laughs> province of Como, region Lombardy. Italy. The church I is... remember. I remember. Wait. Can you? Can you? Wait. What? I think I remember this place. What do you mean? I, obviously, it's not very popular if it's only got from two Assassin's lines. Creed Brotherhood. Are you sure it's the same place? Absolutely not. Next article. <laughs> Wall Township, New Jersey. So here's a here's what I'm thinking. There are so many. Like first of all, I think all we're gonna get. Are like we're gonna get a lot of places because there are so many places. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't mind me. If you just... think about it, wait, yeah. hold on. There if are a you... lot of people though, and a lot of animals. No, too. but if you think about it, everywhere is a place, but not everywhere is a people. Put that on a, a t-shirt and and edit it into the video. Oh, dude, I love this show. <laughs> Parks, parks and Recreation. <laughs> Brick Township Reservoir with parts located in both. Eight I think we should keep playing. I think the name of this game is we keep hitting next article until we find Pawnee, Indiana. No, dude, the name of this game is Let's Explorify, and that's just what we're going to do. Right. Okay, don't quick. Don't donate. Okay, random article. Let's see. Let's get some Russian nice. Ark. Russian Ark. What? Oh, it's a film. See, it's not all places. Get out oh, of here. Good. No, look. See, it was in, filmed entirely in the winter places. The winter. See? Place. Places. Or the Russian Estate oh. Hermitage Museum on 23rd December okay. 2001 using a single 96 minute steady cam sequence shot. That's awesome. The film was entered in what? the 2002 Cannes Film Festival. That's unreal. An unnamed narrator wanders through the Winter Palace in St. Petersburg. It's me. The narrator implies that he died in some horrible accident. It's not me, and is ghost drifting Whoa. through the palace. This in is actually room, like really he interesting. Encounters various real and fictional people from various periods in the city's 300-year history. He is accompanied by the European, <laughs> <laughs> who represents Marquise de Custine, a oh, 19th-century French lover. 
Russian Ark uses the fourth wall device. Loving French you. lover? <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Thank God. <laughs> that would have been really bad. Um, but repeatedly broken and re-erected. At times, the narrator and the companion interact with the other performers, while at other times, they pass unnoticed. Well, that was lovely. Um, wow, this is a small cast. Well, I mean, just wait. The fact that it was like... Yeah, just one steady 96-minute sh shot? That's insane. That's... In, that's ridiculous like that's how like i want to see this just like for the sake of like just like the the even if it's a, an awful movie uh it made can we get the, six millions that's millions what was the budget did it say what the budget was? oh it does not say Let me in see. production maybe um no huh it was not a huge commercial success. The film grossed three mil in the U.S. and Canada, and three point six internationally. Hmm. Interesting. Um, what's it called? Russian. It's got an arc? eighty-eight on Rotten Tomatoes. Ah, see, I was gonna look that up. That's pretty good, though. That is. That's not bad. Roger Ebert. That's him. Yes. Uh, I remember him. Apart from anything else. This is one of the best sustained ideas I have ever seen on the screen. Wow. The effect of the unbroken flow of images experimented with in the past by directors like Hitchcock and Max Ophels uh, is uncanny. If cinema is sometimes dreamlike, then every edit is awakening. Wow. Great. Wow. Just put my put my favorite hobby in the dirt. Why not? Just do it. Just Edi go ahead. What, ed editing? Yeah, just, just <laughs> go ahead, Robert Gebert. <laughs> well, sometimes what? sometimes staying hashtag woke, put hashtag woke on the screen. Um, sometimes staying hashtag woke can be a good thing. So sometimes editing is good. Look, I did it. I did it. You 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 did it. All right. Random article. Random article. Odostomia sanjuanensis. It's a species of sea snail, a marine gastropod mollusk in the family Pyramidellidae. You know what I? You know what I don't understand is like the pyramids and their allies. I want like like I want a, I want a statistic of like how many Wikipedia pages do not have images associated with them because I feel like it's a majority. It, I, like, yeah, that makes sense that it would be. Like it would be like just like a majority. Like like someone writes like a really quick thing about. Videos. Um. Oh, there it is. That oh. looks like a sea snail. What That's am I? Nice. What Where, I are <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we going? What is this? <laughs> what? 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 No, go back. Go back. Undo. 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 <laughs> this is a video for a different time. This is a video for a different time. Wiki one. Okay. Oh We're my God! Jesus so Christ! <laughs> Random article, please. Good Lord! Katrina Hacker. Katrina. Oh God, I'm in. She's a. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She received two Grand Prix assignments. Nice. Um. So she's a speed skater. She's 28 years old. Will, uh, if she's single, um, you get dibs, of course. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> That's just a really hilarious concept to be like, oh, by the way, you're up first. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, um, uh, references. Rutherford yeah. Lynn, July 24, 2007. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. All right. Woke what? 308. <laughs> Woke 308, baby. And it's fancy O2. Yeah. 
is a low power auxiliary radio station licensed into Brooklyn, New York, serving Bay Ridge. Woke 308. Dude, okay, so it's, since it's a radio station, oh no, they call themselves T Bone Radio. Damn. You just. You just oh my god. What? Q is just fancy O. It is. Look at it. Look. That. That is the most Here, insane concept. A deranged concept. conspiracy call leaves from the internet to the crowd at Trump's. What? <laughs> okay. What did you just say? Welcome to my new series. Let's explorify everybody. Oh my god. Coming this at you. Insanity. Napier Settlement. Napper. Na- Napper. Pine Craig. Na- Napster. Would you name your son Pine Craig? <laughs> No, but I feel like I would like. I feel like Craig Pine is a very normal name. <laughs> would okay, if uh, so your first let's, okay hypothetical. Yeah. First date with that skater goes really well. Yeah. Second date comes around and she is and she's she, ready for kids. <laughs> yeah. She says, <laughs> "Let's name our first kid, boy or girl, Pine." Yes. Okay. Middle name Craig. Also, I, he gets my last name. Right. I feel like, okay, so I feel like Pine is like, like, Pine is actually like sort of a unisex name in that it's like kind of weird for both, so it's fine. Yeah. Um, so that's no issue. Uh, Pine, Pine Craig, I feel like the first name should be Pine Craig. Okay. Like, it should all just be like, like, take that space... Slap that space right on out. Plop it in for good. What? I don't know. And take it and put it together. And then the middle name should be her first name. Which was... Put it on the screen. Uh, Programs and activity. Hacker. Last name, Hacker. Pine Craig Hacker. What a great Pine Pine Craig Hacker. Yes. What a great superhero name. That is. I'm Pine Craig Hacker. I'm in. Kitty Van Happerin. Yes. Um She's a the Bob Sledder. Two Dutch female Bobs. Who's forty four <laughs> years old. Do you get it? Two Dutch female Bobs. Yeah. Get it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Literally <laughs> say no more. <laughs> Literally say no more. No, you actually don't. I mean, say All right. no more. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Explorify. British cholera, cholera. Um, let's explorify British is a cholera. recurring series. Tell us what to explorify. Don't tell us what to explorify. We don't care about you. We're gonna do things anyway. The next episode will probably be uh, this exactly what we did, but it's gonna be Reddit, so it's gonna be scarier.